Hey friends, I wanted to take a minute or two to let you know that I just published a book. It's called Physics of the World Soul, Alfred North Whitehead's Adventure in Cosmology. Some of you may recognize the title. I had published a prior edition of this book um, a couple of years ago, and it was uh, late last year I was contacted by the editors at Sacrosage Press, who has a series in open and relational theology, and they wanted to republish it for me. And so I took the opportunity to revise it and expand it quite a bit. I'm really grateful to my colleagues in the Philosophy, Cosmology, and Consciousness program at uh, CIIS for uh, reading it over with me and making tons of you know really helpful suggestions that have improved the text uh, tremendously. And so, uh, yeah, it's available. It was published today. I'll put a link in the description. And basically what I try to show in this book is uh, how Whitehead's philosophy of science and his metaphysics and cosmology uh, can help to integrate the findings of contemporary natural science uh, and physical cosmology and that when integrated in this way, uh, suggest a, an ensouled universe. Uh, and it's not just that this view of an organic universe or the universe as a living creature uh, is compatible with uh, cutting edge natural science, but I think this, uh, these new paradigms in natural science, including quantum and relativity theories, but also evolutionary and complexity theories, um, not only is the notion of a world soul compatible, but I think uh, really implied by uh, cutting-edge science. So I try to make the case in this book. Uh, if you're curious about Whitehead and aren't, aren't sure where to dig in, you know, he's a notoriously difficult thinker, this might also serve as a great introduction to his work. Uh, I don't presuppose knowledge of Whitehead. I try to explicate his thought. Um, before and then while I'm bringing him into dialogue with contemporary science. So, yep, that's the book. Um, check it out. And I certainly always look forward to dialogue uh, with anyone who takes the time to read it.